It's a beautiful day. Everyone, including me, has heard of the Rockefeller family and seen huge Rockefeller buildings. Well, I never dreamed I would be sitting down with anyone who actually knows them, Hi. let alone Hi. runs Welcome. their foundation. Kind of nice to meet it's you. So it's so great to it's see it's you. It's a great honor to be here. Dr. Roden has been a friend to our schools for a long time. As a former professor, she loves the education we get, but it's really much more personal than that. So I understand you went to an all-girl high school too, and I would like to ask, what benefits did you get out of it? Going to an all-girls high school made me who I am today, literally. Um, I remember coming home in seventh grade and telling my parents, whoever, Johnny, someone, who was the boyfriend of the moment, told me that he liked me in spite of the fact that I was smart. And my parents realized that I could not be in a co-educational middle school where I really would not flourish. And so I went to Girls High, which was an all-academic public school in Philadelphia. I am part Palestinian and part Jordanian. I feel really lucky that I can attend such an amazing school, but many of my female relatives will never have that opportunity. What do you think is the greatest obstacle to girls' education globally? There are two great obstacles to global girls' education. One is, in most countries in the world, parents still choose to educate their boys before their girls. And then secondly, if anything happens to the family, if someone gets sick, if it's a bad growing season and they need more people in the fields, it's always the girl that gets pulled out of school first, not the boy. So girls around the world still have a very significant challenge. Who were some of your favorite teachers in school? I had a great kindergarten teacher named Miss Invernizzi, and I already, had, I already knew how to read, and I think other kindergarten teachers might have been sort of dismayed at that, you know, differences already in the class. But she was wonderful. She would give me books and encourage me to do more and encourage me to help mm -hmm. the other kids as they were learning letters. And she really gave me a sense that um, when I knew something, I should feel proud of it, not embarrassed about it, but also a great sense that you shouldn't brag about it. Mm -hmm. I think I did brag about it a little. <laughs> and she really taught me what humility was all about. That was a really good lesson very early. I was so fascinated by Dr. Roden. All the famous people she knows, oh, I, I never so met many. anyone who has accomplished so much. She shows me how much is possible in my life. I feel very proud of my career and what I've accomplished. I also feel really proud to be married and have children and now grandchildren. So I think we're again lucky in the United States because we really can have it all. Um, and uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Dr. Roden, you rock. I will never forget meeting you.